Now, I was using a gimbal, right? And the thing is, like, gimbals, I have it, like, set up in this, like, device. I mean, this bag. So, pretty much what the whole idea is, when I'm walking around, I got my little mail pouch in front of me, right? <laughs> and then, like, I have to attach uh, the, the phone to this gimbal over here, right? This is basically the Hohem uh, gimbal I got off Amazon. It was, like, 70 bucks. Steady IX. X I steady or whatever by a whole hem. Um, and pretty much, you know, you got a little like lock over here. It opens up. You have to like screw that in place to make sure it stays up. Then it has like another claw lock here in the back. Let's see. Let me make this brighter. Yeah, that helps. You know, there's a little lock, so now like it as well as around. You got a balance, and uh, you know, I guess it's considered a three-point uh, axle you know, type of like um, uh, gimbal, right? It also comes with a little extension here in the bottom. And there you go, then, you know, all you have to do is attach your phone. Now, here's the thing about doing all that shit. Now, this is where I start to have problems using the gimbal, right? Like, if I want to... Let me see, make some room here. If I want to attach the phone to my gimbal, the first thing that you're going to find out right away is two things. One is, like, see where my, um... This guy is the off button, right? If I press it, hold it, it's going to turn, you know, activates the phone. Right here, you have to be careful that, like, when you put this on the... The gimbal, it's not gonna like press that guy and turn off your phone, right? So it's gonna be almost like a little bit off balance, off center. So it's gonna be more like this, right? So that could cause a little bit of instability on your gimbal, depending on how heavy your phone is. That's one thing. Another problem I have is that like uh, if I try to like, if I try to like uh, clamp this guy with my phone case, you know, to protect my phone, that costs me like 30 bucks. It's almost impossible because it's too fat. Can have it. I mean, it, I have done it before, but it's the thing is it's not secure, right? Like it's supposed to be. See how like this like little notch here? It's supposed to like wrap around the phone and with my case, it doesn't do that, right? And if like depending on what's going on, if I move it wrong, you know, it can slip off and it could fall, right? So that's an issue I have. So in order to use the gimbal properly, I have to fucking like um take my phone out of this fucking otter case. And I have dropped my phone while I was doing this, right? And it's fucking annoying. Again, I have to like you know connect this guy. You know, I have to attach this to the gimbal, making sure I don't like uh, press the, the side button here that turns off my phone. You know, I clamp it, and now like when you turn this on for the first time, it does that, right? And it does a good job, it works, right? But the problem is this, now my phone that I use to connect, to talk to people, to text or whatever, if I need to look up some kind of information, depending where I'm at, it's attached to this thing and it's a pain in the ass to me like to turn this phone off. You know, turn it off so then like, uh, well this thing is like connected like this, sometimes I have to like, you know, unlock it so I'm using my phone like this, you know, you know, looking up certain information or whatever. I mean, it's not that big of a deal but it does get annoying after a while. And also like, if I want to like, walk around and not film anything, uh, part of the reason why I got this bag, yeah, I'm walking around the vest like this, you know, holding this fucking bag in front of me and like, if I want to film something, I'll pull this guy out, I'll turn it on, then I'll start filming, right? Now, I'm gonna be super fucking honest with this, and like, this is, I mean, it's laughable, but I mean, it's something that I kind of no joke, unfortunately, in like, fucking America. Me walking around with a patch like this, with something sticking out of a bag, me grabbing this and going like this, if you already know where I'm going now, then you understand, like, the situation in America. I don't want to, like, walk around with something that could be considered a weapon. You know, this actually makes me nervous as fuck, considering how things are going in this country where people care more about guns than the safety of people. Which is fucking bullshit, and you guys can go ahead and get mad at me saying how guns keep you safe. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> I'm in favor of owning a weapon. I'm actually considering, like, in the future, getting myself become a registered gun owner for my protection. I got nothing against weapons, but fucking hey, dude. People can give a fuck more about weapons than like the people dying, which is kind of dumb. But anyways, yeah, uh, I'm actually literally scared of walking around like this. You know, I don't like this whatsoever. It feels uncomfortable. I mean, it, it is helpful to go around and be like, okay, boom, I need to film something to pull this out when I'm done. I can put it away and I'll walk around like that. I've done this in certain areas. But honestly, like, like I said, I just do not feel comfortable doing this. At the moment, in America, I feel stressed out thinking a cop would see this, get confused, and I could be in a situation that I won't be happy in. Now, one, I went to like a, almost like a Zen garden with my girlfriend, and like I was walking around with this thing, and I had people come up to me, tell me to put it away because, you know, they don't want any type of filming equipment in the garden, right? I had someone else show up and like told, let the people know that it's okay. Uh, this is just like a personal device. What they didn't want is like professional equipment, meaning like people with tripods and like actual DSLR cameras with like the big lenses to film or to shoot because you don't need like a permit or need to ask for permission or something for you to do that, right? So that's the thing uh, about me 
wanted to continue um, aiming for a style of filmmaking using smartphones because I want to I want to be in an environment or in a situation or in a position where all I can do is pull out my phone, film, and like, you know, I'm just a guy walking around with a camera, right? And like the way how things are going with smartphones, in particular from what I see with, uh, say, like an iPhone, I'm very impressed with like the overall image quality of it. But anyway, this video is going on long enough. I need to stop it here. Thank you so much for hearing me talk. I really appreciate it. <laughs> all right, man. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.